All right, guys, what's up? Troy with TJ Lawn Service here. And today's video um, is a little bit of, yes, it's another cleanup video, um, but I'm going to be doing a review on the Husqvarna V548 um, stand-on mower. It's uh, one of their first, actually, it is their uh, first stand-on. I think they only come in two different sizes, 48 and uh, 54 as of now. I could be wrong. There might be a 60-inch something in there, but I'm pretty sure it's just the two sizes. Uh, today, I'm testing out the 48-inch. I actually have it on my trailer right now behind me, but I uh, uh, just don't want to show it while I'm driving. And I'm already recording while I'm driving. Yeah. Anyway, um, so uh, I actually just finished the job. I already used the mower, so I'm going to cut the video into showing you what I was doing on the job, explaining uh, what I do like and what I don't like about the mower. Um, if I repeat myself a little bit in the video, uh, I apologize. I'll go over a few of the key things right now and I may or may not say them later in the video. That's why I'm gonna say uh, I'm repeating myself. But um, I'll be honest, guys, I have hated on this mower before. I, I was not able to actually ever try it myself. I only hated about what I knew about it. Um, again, I have said multiple times, it is their first stand-on mower, so you gotta cut them slack. You know, maybe their second won't be as, uh, I don't wanna say bad, because it's not a bad mower, it's not. Um, but it is their first, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, a few things that I don't like about it, as I've said before, is that all the uh, all the levers are in one spot. You have your parking brake, you have your uh, uh, deck height, and then instead of there being a button on the lever for the deck height to you know release it, they have another lever that unlocks the deck height. So you have your brake, then the uh, the deck height, and then you have another lever that controls the the lock on the deck height. It's very, uh, it's too much in one spot. It's a little weird. Um, other than that, I already said that I don't like that when you lift uh, the cushion right in front of you that you have to get into everything. Um, that the oil, the uh, the stick, you have to like bend it to get it out because there's too much going on in there. Um, other than that, I can't say much that I hate about this mower. Um, other than, wow, the, the shoot, yes, it's a rubber shoot, but there's nowhere to hold it onto that if you hold it up it's just gonna fall back down. There's nothing for it to grab onto. Um, it's very annoying. Um, other than that, other than that, um, it cuts fairly nice. I mean, yes, you can say it's just whatever blades you put on the mower, but uh, it cuts very nice. Uh, all I've done so far is mulching, uh, mulching leaves. I've not actually used it to cut grass yet. That will be later in the video, I'll go over that. But um, I used it to uh, mulch some leaves in the backyard. And I'll be honest, I think it's better than my, I get my, my John Deere's resident, residential grade. Um, so it's nothing to, you know, freak out about. But um, I definitely think that it mulched the blades, uh, mulched the leaves way better than my ride on. So here we have the Husqvarna V548. It's the brand new stand-on mower. And first I'll go over the things that I do like about this mower. Um, 
there are none. I don't really like it at all compared to other stand-ons. Uh, again, I've already said this is their first one, so it's going to be kind of crap. But um, like I said before, the chute has nothing to grab onto. So if I'm trying to put put this up, it just falls down. Um, I mean, like I said, the lever system here, this is kind of stupid. Uh, when they gave it to me, they did not give me the, uh, the pin to hold the deck. So basically, I just have to unlock this here, and then the deck... Yeah, it, it's actually... Uh, they said it's a very heavy deck, but m myself, I, I can do it. It's, it's not bad. And then it locks again. Um, other than that, you got everything right in here. I've already said, I don't like that the oil is right here if I want to take this out look it gets stuck i really have to bend it and i don't i especially don't want to do that on a demo unit um but i know some of the pluses on this thing is yes like the hydros and everything they're up front everything is up front the weight is up here so when you're uh say on a slope or something like that you got all the weight up here you don't have to worry about it sliding or falling or something like that slipping i mean um other than that, it's a very nice uh, mower. I believe Husqvarna uh, gives the deck a lifetime warranty in the mower itself. 1,500 hours or five years, whichever comes first. Don't quote me on that. But um, for their first one, it's not bad. But uh, for me, it is, it's, not the, it's not the mower for me. Um, I'll power it on. You guys can see it cutting. thing I left out about this mower is that the foot plate right ha down here can go up and snap like that and then it's basically a walk behind so if there's any time that uh, you feel like the mower is slipping or something like that you can easily put that up and walk if you don't trust it and then right here it just pops right back down from that little lever right there. All right guys that's my review right there on the Husqvarna V548 um, it did the best I could with what I, uh, with <laughs> what I could do I only had it for the day. I really couldn't mow any grass. And like I said, when, I, when I'm mowing my grass, they didn't give me the pin for the deck. I don't know if it came off or some shit like that, but they did not give it to me. Um, so I couldn't lower the deck. I couldn't actually cut with it. Um, other than that, I, I very much enjoyed it when I was mulching... Uh, I keep saying mulching blades. Mulching leaves. Um, and for their first one, it's not horrible. But I don't recommend it. Um, it's not a bad mower... For them to start off with stand-ons it's gonna get bright right um but hey am i getting color oh my god hey <laughs> uh other than that i did try out some of their battery powered equipment um i did not do reviews on them um 
I did a weed whacker, a um, hedge trimmer, and a pole saw. The pole saw, I highly recommend. Oh my gosh, the battery powered pole saw by Husqvarna, amazing. The weed whacker, you gotta try it for yourself, but I recommend that as well. The battery hedge trimmer, nothing special about it. Sure, it's another battery thing. It's, uh, it's definitely got power to it. Um, if you're gonna start switching over to uh, battery gradually, I'd say get that last. You definitely want maybe the weed whackers first. They are very good, trust me, with battery. But that pole saw whew, had some freaking power to it. Um, all right, but hopefully my equipment defender racks come in soon and I'll make a video on that. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.